All right, today I got a 2012 F350 dually chassis cab, and uh, I got a few different codes here, and the truck actually shut down on the guy going down the road. And the reason for that is it thought the uh, cat and DPF were over temp, and that'd be this code right here. It thinks the DPF's over temp, and it thinks the cat's over temp. So, it fl so basically, the PCM flips out, and I will actually shut the truck down or put you in an idle only state to stop uh, whatever fault is occurring that it thinks is actually overheating the uh, the DPF and CACs that's a very expensive repair uh, for them and or you if you're out of warranty now the actual reason for this is this code right here and that's what you gotta realize you get codes for all kinds of DPF and efficiency and all those other problems but you have an EGT code that has to do with the actual circuit being out of range what you need to do is replace that EGT sensor which is very common on these just like the knock sensors um, and go from there basically because I'll show you on the other screen here why it's flipping out this truck has been sitting I'd say six hours. All I do is move from the shop out here to the park and lot then the park came in. And you can see all the rest of the um, exhaust gas temp sensors are reading basically ambient temp, 78, 80 degrees, right? Look at EGT 12. It's way off the charts. So you can imagine once the engine actually heats up that that sensor is going to be even higher and that's where it gets into the danger zone and it's going to actually start potentially melting down the DPF and CAT but in all reality it's just a false reading and the PCM should recognize that but it doesn't and here's the sensor itself you can see it's a uh, very basic and I think they're pretty cheap right now too um, but they're on extreme back order they're actually a back order ranking of two so it's the second most back order part in the Ford uh, part system right now and uh, by luck we happen to get one of these so this guy can get back on the road hopefully this same does not happen to you and you're using this truck for your business and you are not able to proceed and it's down for weeks on end at the dealer because of supplier issues of the actual part the part's been revised a bunch of times and uh, hopefully this is a, a permanent fix for this guy uh, of course he has three other sensors that potentially can fail because they're all the same part number um, but Ford does not authorize us to change all of them at once not on this particular problem. Now looking underneath here, it, it is true the sensors go from 1, 2, 3, 4 from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back, but on chassis cabs the first two are the same, but the third and fourth one are actually reversed, so it'll be 14 and 13, uh, whereas pickup models is still 1, 2, 3, 4. So you need to recognize that so that you uh, replace the correct one and like I said they all look the same Just you'll see them going down the line here uh, one thing you need to know is that the key must be off whenever you're changing one of these sensors because a uh, circuit code will set in the PCM and it will lock you out from starting the vehicle for 60 minutes you need to know that so we change it out correctly and when it powers back up it does not see a circuit fault and it sees the correct temp and lets you go on your merry way. And now that we change the sensor out, you can see all of them are within a few degrees of each other and the PCM sees that as being okay. And uh, this is the easiest way. If you have a scan tool of any sorts, just watch all your EGT sensors after you know a six to eight hour cold soak and it should be within you know five, ten degrees of each other. And like this one was easily, you could spot it, it was 500 some degrees and it sat for the last six hours. So uh, we know that sensor is obviously faulty. And after you replace the sensor and clear the codes, just do a key cycle, go for a test drive. You'll know right away if there's still a concern or not. There was a new TSB out about the pigtail on the actual engine harness side and the body harness side where plugs in do have issues, but that's for different DTCs. And uh, these EGT sensors are they fail left and right whether it be a 64 or the 67 2013 or 2008 it doesn't matter they fail often and I'm um, surprised they're still having this issue to this day obviously it's a heat issue and it just can't handle it and they fail eventually uh, this one has about 25,000 miles on this truck so 
Um, it can happen, and if you're lying in your truck uh, to get you wherever you go every day and you're for your business, and because these are on back order, you may want to pick one up. I think they're pretty cheap, 20 some dollars. Keep it in the truck, you swap it out with a 13 millimeter uh, open end wrench, and uh, do a key cycle, and your truck will fire right up for you. And uh, you'll be able to get down the road without waiting for the dealer to diagnose it, order parts, and wait for that two or three two to three week uh, back order is what the current back order status is. Like I said, it's back order status of number two on the Ford list.